thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we've had a NATO Ukraine Commission meeting where we informed about the military and political situation in Ukraine and the ways out of the crisis in the east of our state. The defense ministers of the allied countries who spoke at the meeting unanimously supported Ukrainian authorities, Ukrainian armed forces, and security forces engaged into anti-terrorist operation in the east of Ukraine, as well as congratulated Ukrainian nation with the legitimately elected Ukrainian president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine. And I'm ready to answer your questions. What assistance and support from NATO you are going to get, specifically besides words of support? And the second question, Deputy Chief of the Administration of the President, blame to your deputy for some abuse of, uh, of his office. First of all, I should uh, emphasize that Ukraine has been cooperating with NATO for quite a long time. We have been, uh, I mean, y Ukrainian uh, military uh, participate in many activities and many operations of the alliance, including stabilization forces. That's why Ukrainian uh, military are well known at the NATO headquarters, as well as well known to the allies. That's why um, a discussion with my colleagues, with defense ministers, was very pragmatic. It was very practically oriented and the assistance is in full progress. Uh, in particular, we received assistance from France, Poland, the United States, as well as uh, United Kingdom, and also assistance is coming from other allies. Uh, it, there is a very long list of items uh, about uh, you know, uh, anyone uh, can be blamed, but uh, this could be legitimate only if it is proven by the uh, investigation, by the court, but uh, so far there is no information available. Will be... Ложение, брифинг, будет размещено на веб-сторинце двома мовами. Я українською і англійською буду розміщений на сторінці НАТО. По одному запитанню від особи, будь ласка. Чи ви просили якусь зброю у членів Альянсу, скажімо, протиповітряну зброю, і яку допомогу вам будуть надавати? Чи будуть надавати несмертельну зброю, чи щось таке? Можете пояснити? At the moment... We are talking only about non-lethal weapons, and the assistance which we receive is like non-lethal weapons. Yes, David Brands. David Brands is Reuters. Є інформація про те, що два українські гелікоптери були збиті сепаратистами. Мені цікаво, чи ви знаєте про цю інформацію? Чи таку інформацію? So far, I haven't got such information. I know that the operation is in progress, but I don't have such information. Радіо Європа, Радіо Свобода Української служби нам сказали, що делегація фахівців НАТО приїжджає зараз в Україну, оцінюючи 
спроможність українських збройних сил отримати допомогу. Чи не могли би пояснити, що це означає? Як вони будуть оцінювати, що Україні потрібна допомога і в якому сенсі? Як це буде робитися? Поки. Uh, at the moment, I don't have such information, and, and so maybe, maybe you'll give me more details, but I, I, this is for the first time I hear something like this. With your permission, I will add uh, to the ans answering to this question. Probably it's about the next group of NATO experts uh, who have arrived to Kyiv. Uh, what do they do there? Uh, we realized, and armed forces realized that, that without any profound reforms, we'll not be able to defend national interests of the state by the armed forces. That's why, in order to move forward, we have to, to conduct the total review of what we do have and what we do want, and only then we'll be able to define what assistance we need, what assistance we need in a month, and what assistance we'll need in a year. News Agency, Union Ukrainian News Agency. Minister, I would like to come back to yeah, Commission, uh, NATO Ukraine Commission. I'm interested in what kind of... Ukraine NATO. Які запитання вам поставили ваші колеги, міністри оборони інших... In fact, I made a brief presentation on the situation, current situation in the east of Ukraine. I described the situation, made conclusions on the basis of assessment, and uh, informed uh, colleagues about practical steps taken by the Anti-Terrorist Operation Command aimed at um, extermination of uh, criminal groups in the east of Ukraine and the reaction of the defense ministers and 21 ministers spoke um, uh, to the events happening in Ukraine was uh, in, in a sort of uh, supporting activities and actions of Ukrainian authorities, anti-terrorist operation, and all ministers congratulated Ukrainian nation, Ukrainian armed forces, with legitimately elected president. Грузинська служба Радіо Свобода. Минулого тижня була інформація про чеченців та інших північно-кавказських бойовиків з боку сепаратистів в Луганську, Донецьку, на сході України. Чи ця інформація була доведена? Є докази якісь того, що там є терористи з північного Кавказського регіону, можливо, з якихось інших регіонів Росії? There is quite a lot of evidence, and we see this evidence every day on our national television. Our servicemen get prisoners, and recently you saw interview by Ramzan Kadyrov standing nearby to so-called journalists who were arrested or detained with a man pad nearby Kramatorsk. This is another proof. Another uh, proof, a huge number of uh, uh, dead bodies which were delivered from Ukraine to the territory of Russian Federation, as well as threats from some um, leaders in Russia that they would revenge, take a revenge for Ukra Russian soldiers being killed in Ukraine. And there are lots of such cases. They have been documented, and everything will be used during the court litigation, which will be started by our state against those who started uh, this war on its territory, non-declared war. 
exchange with NATO and is there a обмін інформаційною і розвідувальною інформацією бити на Україну і НАТО і чи яка співпраця в сфері розвідки я маю на увазі в контексті ситуації на сході України we have enough information and enough uh, capabilities uh, to get objective intelligence information for us to be able uh, well informed to decisions in order to successfully fulfill anti-terrorist operations we didn't receive such information from NATO what would be your vision when anti-terrorist operation may be completed and what do you think about introduction of martial law um, about uh, completion of the anti-terrorist operation you should understand that this is quite a complicated operation which is conducted at the area populated by five million of civilians civilian residents and the tragedy and complexity of this operation is caused by the fact by Ukrainian authorities um, ordered the participants of the anti-terrorist operation that no civilian person should suffer as a result of that operation. It is extremely difficult to conduct all these um, operations. And uh, I, I should tell you, the commanders of the anti-terrorist operation give commands to uh, liquidate some groups uh, if they are absolutely sure that there are no hostages or civilians at the place which is subject to the um, to the operation. The authorities, uh, or the, the the commanders of the anti-terrorist operation, define certain stages of the operation. Operation is going according to the plan. And we have all the grounds to say that anti-terrorist operation will be successful. And we will conduct it within the time frame uh, defined by the authorities of the state, fulfilling all the tasks which we face. Martial law, it's also not a prerogative of military forces. This, is, should, be, this should be the political will of the authorities. If they decide this, we will... Uh, do this internet the publication clearly yesterday there was a big fight uh, nearby Luhansk uh, Ukrainian border guards fought with some hundreds of uh, terrorists and yesterday still is no declare that anti-terrorist operation provided a lot of assistance but the fight finished but this morning there was information that in reality there was no assistance and the border guards were uh, left um, alone against those terrorists, and now the situation is developing in a way that there is another uh, hit on this uh, border guard uh, point is quite possible. The question is when this mess will come to an end, when your speakers don't tell the truth, or they tell the truth and we don't get enough information. First, uh, I would like you to speak in a more correct manner. Yes, yesterday the Luhansk, uh, the Luhansk uh, border guard directorate personnel uh, was repelling, uh, not even a storm. They didn't storm the, the territory. They were fighting against uh, uh, just uh, shooting. Uh, they, the fa uh, there was definitely assistance shown by television, by the way, aviation, uh, nine, uh, two fighter planes conducted nine sorties to that place. In the, uh, during these sorties, they hit the territory around that um, uh, border guard station as well as uh, vehicles. Uh, coming to assistance of separatists, uh, there was three trucks hit by uh, these fighters. Also, there were uh, uh, four uh, MI-24 attack helicopters operating there. What do you mean by the assistance? Uh, 
Uh, I don't understand what you say, because the anti-terrorist uh, forces, uh, first of all, I should say that the border guard uh, unit is surrounded by separatists. Uh, there are only two uh, airborne companies uh, located on the Luhansk uh, uh, airport territory, and they are protecting this territory of the airport. And there was no need to to... to assist them with some other forces, because after the strikes which I mentioned, because the strikes were also aimed at checkpoints of uh, bandits on the road Luhansk, Stanich, Luhansk, and these three checkpoints were completely destroyed, which also helped the border guards. That's why what you uh, told us uh, about is is not is not uh, true. In fact, as professional military, I can tell you that everything is done is done correctly, and it will lead to a success. A lot of information. There was a lot of information. You see that national guards have their own tasks, and I know about everything which is happening. Uh, in the in the in the process of anti-terrorist operation, and uh, there was no decision about national guards. Uh, there are people uh, spreading rumors about national guard the, the same way as about the right sector. Uh, they, these rumors are spread special, uh, special to intimidate local population, and nobody sent national guards there. They have different tasks to do. See. Minuskal is Dansk, agency Novin. Zaraz je dvi grupy z postarevačiv OBSE zahoplenie na schodie Ukrajiny. U nas ne zrozumiele, či je jakýs kontakt s ľuďmi, jaký zahopili ci grupy. U vás je jakýs informácia pro ce? I'm the head of the defense ministry. Yes, uh, together with the foreign ministry, I, we, we get information. I, I know in which hotel those people stayed and which route they moved, because of when the foreign ministry uh, requested our assistance, we did everything possible to provide for uh, security of OSC personnel who um, uh, work in this area. But I must tell you that I always present at all uh, meetings, and the authorities of our country told the OSC authorities that there was no need. Uh, they should not send these people to Donetsk in particular. Unfortunately, OSC didn't listen to our advice, and they sent their people to that dangerous territory. And we know what was what is the result of that. Brooks signal. Так, Брок Сигнер, Джейнс, Джейнс, Дефенс Викли. Как высший військовый керівник вашей Украины, вы знаете, какие військовые спроможности есть у вашей Украины, а каких у вас нет? Не говоря про нелетальную пропозицию, там нелетальную зброю от Франции, Польши и других стран, какие вам сейчас, на вашу думку, негайно нужны серьезные військові силы и средства для того, чтобы защитить свою Украину? I must tell you that we today received the most important, the total support of the whole alliance. As I told you, uh, 21 ministers spoke and all supported us. It is very important for us. Our country has uh, necessary capabilities to defend the country. We do have it, and we... Uh, using this potential to full extent. Uh, yes, we have some problems with uh, some air defense systems, intelligence and communication equipment. All the rest we do have, and uh, we use all these to full, 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 fully. We use this fully. military journalists. In mass media, there is information that Russians may use aircraft which they captured in Crimea for provocations. Do you have any uh, idea what provocation those could be? 
Твърдате? Yes, I must uh, agree with this. I verify this. This really takes place at the moment on the territory of Crimea, in particular on in Belbek Air Base. There are two Su-29 aircraft which are combat ready. And uh, according to our negotiations with Russian Federation, we we are to get them back, to bring them back to Ukraine, and only nine aircraft stay there. These uh, aircraft are marked with Ukrainian uh, national signs, and this night we got information that these aircraft are being actively prepared for provocative uh, sorties uh, in order to to bomb uh, civilian population uh, and to alert Ukrainian armed forces uh, in killing, uh, I'm sorry, these are aircraft uh, MiG-29, not SU, uh, and uh, hitting uh, civilian population. Yes, and the reaction of our mass media was very correct. So. The Russians should understand that we know about this. This is very important to inform all the world about this possible provocation. Minister, Ukraine, together with NATO, planned for 2014 a number of large-scale exercises like rapid trident, sea breeze, and so on. What is the destiny of these maneuvers? Uh, these exercises. And another question, what tasks will be given to the uh, battalion, uh, in joint battalion, Ukrainian, Polish, Lithuanian? Ukrainian parliament approved multinational exercises, including two exercises with the United States, also, which, which you have just mentioned. We are preparing to these exercises. Funds have been allocated, and we're going to conduct these exercises uh, the second half of this year in Ukraine. Ukraine has not refused any activity of uh, our um, uh, troops in terms of peacekeeping operations. Uh, we are participating in all these activities uh, fully. Yeah, you, have a, you, you have a little bit un- incorrect information. Yes, there is a resolution by the Cabinet of Ministers, and I'm to sign an agreement between Ukraine, Poland, uh, and Lithuania on uh, setting up a Ukrainian-Polish-Lithuanian brigade. It is a very important step, and I have already talked to my colleagues from Poland and Lithuania, and we agreed that this document is going to be ratified on the 18th of June this year. Minister, whether during today's meeting you were asked about... uh, possibility of a referendum in Ukraine initiated by Timoshenko on accession to NATO. Uh, no, there was no such a question asked to me. Uh, as a, uh, acting defense minister of Ukraine, the fact that I am here shows that our country is interested in cooperation with NATO. Definitely. Do we understand each other? Vladimir Dobrovolsky, RIA Novosti. Do you have any information about the number of uh, peaceful residents who were killed uh, during the operation and about the losses on both sides? Uh, don't have any information on the number of peaceful citizens who were who died, uh, at least from the anti-terrorist uh, forces fire. There is no fact that uh, there is no proven fact that they killed any peaceful uh, citizen. Unfortunately, uh, um, from our side, beginning with Crimea, when two uh, military servicemen died. In total, we lost 42 persons, I mean armed forces. 42 persons died, were killed. Uh, 
микрофон. Пане министр, зараз є тенденція в новому українському уряді, що ряд грузинських успішних реформаторів за запрошені допомагати в плані реформування. Чи ви плануєте запросити грузинських реформаторів військових до своєї команди? Я поважаю. I respect very much uh, Republic of Georgia very much and I respect the armed forces of this country, but we have enough our own reformers uh, to fulfill all the tasks. Thank you. <laughs> 